on YouTube land. <laughs> Just gonna do a bit of shopping today. Short vlog. Uh, let's see what we get up to. So, just heading to Poundland. Let's go see what we got today. Anything exciting? <laughs> oh, I'm in Poundland and have a look at this. Heading back home now, I'll show you what I got. And I'm back home and I've uh, got a couple of pickups today. Um, I picked this up for the wife. It's a tote bag with Mickey Mouse on it. Oh boy! And, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, a little story about that. Um, when I went to Disneyland Paris for our um, honeymoon with Katie, my wife, uh, <laughs> every time we saw Mickey Mouse, I went, oh boy! <laughs> And it really wound her up because I kept doing it over and over. So yeah, that's for Katie. Hello, dear. Uh, Mickey Mouse bag. You probably know about this already by now, but um, yeah, that's what I picked up for her. Got to get something for the missus now and then, haven't you? Yeah, keep her happy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, so continuing, I actually picked up something for my dear friend Paul, or Big Paulie, as he's known on YouTube. Um, he recently lost his pet cat, uh, Bobby, and he's obviously been quite upset about it and. Um, R.I.P. Bobby and all our Katie and I's love go to you, Paulie, and your family. So sorry for your loss. Um, I lost my cat years ago, and it is it, it, it's they are part of the family, and uh, I needed time off as well. So don't worry, you're not alone. Um, you're a very strong man, and we're all supporting you. So, uh, but anyway, I did pick him up a disc. I was messaging him when I was in Poundland. And it's, uh, as you saw, the Minions 3D with a lenticular, you can't really tell in this video, but yeah, it's got a lenticular cover and it's quite nice. It's quite nice and he wanted it. So there you go, Pig Polly. That'll be on its way to you very shortly. Uh, picked up two for me, uh, one which I have seen. Uh, this one is called Lockout. Uh, stars Guy Pierce. It's a Luke Basson Presents. And for the producer of Taken, uh, I have seen this. I remember it being good. Uh, I did have it on DVD. Um, yes, I know, DVD. Um, but I'm, I'm glad to get the upscale on Blu-ray. I look forward to re-watching re <laughs> re this one. So, yes, that's good. And this was a huge surprise to me, this one, because it's quite a new title. It was out last year, but towards the end of last year. And I thought, I'd never see it in, in Poundland. Well, not for at least for another couple of years, I would have thought. Because this is a new film. And it stars Christian Bale, Roseman Pike, and uh, the, the sticker is over the third name, so do excuse me. And it was a film that came out last year. And it ca came with a slipcover, Hostiles. A Western that's meant to be really good. And I love a good Western. And this is new. <laughs> this is a new film. With a slip. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> so pleased to get this. It's been on my list. Of, actually, I was going to get it. It was in 8 99 in HMV. I thought, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. It might go to CEX or something. And there it was in Poundland, of all places. With a slip. Oh, my God. Very excited to see that and pick that one up. So, so that's my pickups for today. I'm uh, going to... Go to the cinema now. I'm going to meet the missus in Bournemouth. And we're going to go and see the kid who would be king. So I will add that little review towards the end of this video. And I'll probably shoot videos, some bits and bobs on the way there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this vid so far. I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, I'll see you in a minute. Hello, everybody. Um, quick trailer reaction for you. Um, adding this to the video today. And it's called Book of Monsters. I've just been speaking to a chap called Nicholas Vince. He's been in films, uh, horror movies, quite a long time. And his most famous film is probably Hellraiser. He's also in the screening of a film I'm going to in May of Nightbreed. He's going to be there and doing signings and stuff and the questions and all that malarkey. So, this is called Book of Monsters. I haven't seen the trailer. I know he's in it because he told me he was. <laughs> and um, I'm going to watch the trailer now and see what it looks like. Hope it's good. Sure it will be. So what have you three got planned for this evening? Oh, you know, just quiet night in the middle. Midnight. Midnight. By midnight, okay? See? That is intro. All these people are looking for 
high school. Relax. Wait, look at the bedroom. Oh, this was a bad idea. Why do you have a one with them? I recognize her. I say. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, I'm late for a party. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my days. A monster. A fucking monster. A big fucking monster. You get a lap dance and ball for You didn't pay me for this shit. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? I love the practical effects. Is that a garden gnome? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that looks different and looks full on horror. 80, it's got an 80s uh, practical effects. Old school horror movie vibe to it. Yes! I'm up for that. <laughs> that was gory. <laughs> looks a bit naughty. But uh, no, I'm up for that. It looks a lot of fun. Book of Monsters. I'll be checking that one out. There we go. Next bit of the video. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, heading to Bournemouth now to meet the missus. Going to go see that film. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Going the back way today, different way, back roads rather than the main road. So, see how long it takes, if there's any difference. Anyway, let's get going. So I'm just going to pop into HMV, uh, that's going to be my first stop I think, and then probably go meet the missus to be honest, running a bit behind time, and it turned out it was, it, was, it was a shorter walk, but I left a bit later than planned, so yeah, I should be in Bournemouth in a minute, see in a sec. Not the haunting of Hill House I hope. Got brand new releases at HMV. Hooray! <laughs> it's good to see HMV back to normal. So what did we think of The Kid Who Would Be King? Really good. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> Review later, guys. And we're home, and Katie's drinking. <laughs> it's only Coca-Cola, don't worry. Um, actually, no, it's Pepsi Max. No, no it's, it's Diet right. Pepsi. And he, <laughs> oh, and she just burped as well. Lovely. This is my wife. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? 
Right then, so we went and saw The Kid Who Would Be King. What do you think of it? Excellent. I thought it was fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. <laughs> that was a really good movie. Um, good story, well acted, very funny, plenty of action. Bit dark at times, but not too dark. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Go and see it. It's brilliant. That's all I can say. Just brilliant. Oh, and uh, we did get a couple of films at HMV. One for the missus and one for me. Hang on a minute. And the one for the missus. A Star is Born. Very shiny. Very good film. Very recommend this. Very recommend this. That's great grammar. That's Katie's, but I do like it as well. And my film is bending over. Good job we're not in prison and not their soap. A Simple Favour, starring the very nice Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively. And it's basically about the two go. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not going to say much about it because you should just watch this one blind. I really love this. But it's basically a comedy version of Gone Girl. That's it, really. So, a fantastic film. Really recommend it as well. So, one for her, one for me. But we both like both films. So, that's always a plus. And two for 25. And yes, two for 25. Perfecto. HMV. Yes, yes, HMV have got their new titles in at long last. Isn't that right, love? Yes, dear. Yes, dear. The two words that get you through any relationship. Yes, darling. No, yes, dear. But And darling. Alright, darling. Yes, dear. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Bit of a mix and match today, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, more to come tomorrow at uh, Room House of Us. Adios. Adios, amigos.